in our social milieu where people talk about productivity of labor is lower than that in China, India will have to necessarily move towards technology driven and innovation driven manufacturing. But India's uh, strength is really, the expertise cost is quite low. If we want to leverage that, then our ability to incubate our technology success becomes very critical. But by and large, the Indian society does not uh, provide the ne necessary cultural support for entrepreneurs. That has a social stigma, that has been our past. But now, when National Institute of Technology, when Government of India is promoting an incubator, it is telling the rest of the society that we are entrepreneurs are important and we are supporting entrepreneurs. And I think the families, the communities also feel more secured to send their sons to an incubator. Uh, so this is a very conscious mechanism for promoting entrepreneurship culture. And as you look at the Indian economy today, it is zooming like 8% growth every year. Nearly 50% of the Indian population is less than 24 years of age. They are actually looking for new opportunities, new modes of growth. Once these youngsters are enabled and they start their own ventures, they are going to organize many other Indians to productively exchange with the rest of the society. See, in an incubator, I think the ambience is an electrifying, innovative ambience. This is where you find a lot of people with initiative. This is where you find a lot of people taking risk. And the whole place, the whole ambience is uh, futuristic, focusing on venture realization. It's an integrator of the region with the rest of the world. You will have to just look at the Indian cities. It is becoming overcrowded. But we have very beautiful towns, very beautiful villages. If they can be rejuvenated, if those places can become actively contributing to the economy, we are doing a great thing for the, for the nation. And incubators are the only mechanisms which can ensure regional development. Trekstep is the largest dot that you see at the bottom. That is Trekstep Trichy. What is the typical process by which we groom an entrepreneur? Initially, when he comes to Trekstep, he's a young person, just very much like you all. And he is a person with a very brilliant idea, but he has no experience. He has no business knowledge. He has no team or funds. So we don't want him to spend a lot on capital expenditure in the initial stages. These are some of the uh, counselling and escorting services that we provide. A young student is attracted to the business incubator. I should say it is lured into the business incubator by an uh, advertisement in a paper or by a hearsay saying that if you have a good idea, you can access us, we will provide you all required support. When, when he comes inside an incubator, when he sits with the business incubation manager for the first round of counseling, he feels that his idea is taken very seriously. If you talk about the Chinese, they will manufacture it for 30 pies. It is possible for the Chinese ventures. Now, why is it impossible for us? The venture is not about bringing out a good technology. It is about making profit. If you make profit, you are successful. If you are able to sell it in international markets, then you are very safe. He will feel that gradually he is now more confident. It's not just an idea, it's a venture. His idea is getting matured into reality. But if you're doing it outside the business incubator, you know the vagaries of business world. Actually, I'm very much keen on um, producing cold pressed neem oil which can be used for a biopesticide after formulation. Neem seeds are available only during a particular period. So in that he has to stock for the entire one year. Normally working capital would be spread throughout the year. They don't give it. They give it in face by face. I think you will have to discuss with the Mr. Anantha Krishnan who was a passed out uh, entrepreneur from uh, Trekstep. He was here. He was there in the A1 shed. And he had a similar problem. I'll, I'll call up and find out when he is available. And then maybe we can go to the bank, prepare a proposal according to what Ananda Krishna has done. Yes, if the incubators have to demonstrate their performance, they need to have a very good relation with the graduate companies. It is up to the incubator to bring those resources to the benefit of the uh, young entrepreneur. We are a product of Trekstep. Trekstep, it has got the capability of generating many more ventures like this. So we need to support them. I have a proposal to start up an action unit 
the basic problem which I face is of financial crunch for purchase of raw material and others which is seasonal. This problem is a little unique that he is dealing with these specialized neem pesticides. So the availability of these neem seeds is for only three months. So within that period he has Still. maximum requirement for capital. Suppose for two months I require 20 tons or 30 tons from the guru. Where I am going to get that money from? Okay, actually there is a scheme called key cash trading system. The bank will come forward, they will procure all the material and keep it in the ground and it will be locked and the key will be given to the bankers. It's called key cash credit limit. So Mr. Ananta Krishnan, he was here for nearly 5-6 years and now he has moved out and established a very big industry. He is supporting another 100-150 jobs. Anant has beaten multinational companies like GE, Alstom and uh, many Chinese firms. He was uh, flying high and he is now a model for the region. When I entered the truckster, I didn't have the blessings of my father. He was leading a very safe and secular kind of a life. So he wanted me to proceed in that line. When I uh, informed my decision about becoming an entrepreneurship to my father, he started cursing my professor and uh, Mr. Jawahar for taking that decision, for motivating me to become an entrepreneur. TechStep gave us a complete exposure, which is as good as a MBA program in entrepreneurship. After a period of five years, after seeing my success in my particular field, uh, when I inaugurated this new plant, my father started pricing Mr. Jawahar as well as my professor. For venting out my feelings, I used to uh, go to Mr. Jawahar Trickster. They have taken care of my the emotional kind of a thing. So I never felt like going home. In fact, I stayed there almost three years inside the uh, Trickster campus. Uh, we used to sleep there. Three years we lived there. Still, we are continuing to draw a lot of managerial inputs from Trickster, though we moved out from Trickster. There are issues which we cannot discuss inside our home. We can discuss it here confidently. We cannot discuss that. My in family home. are farmers. I am a first generation entrepreneur. Without Trickster, I could not have become what I am now. Whenever a young entrepreneur comes to me, I, I am seeing me in his face. So definitely I want to help him. These entrepreneurs can go in two ways. One is the traditional industries or they can take up new technologies. The incubators are motivating these entrepreneurs or supporting these entrepreneurs in new technology areas, bringing new wealth to the region instead of going in the traditional path. That means new hope will come to the region. When we talk to young girls, they used to say, my parents advise I'll be getting married soon rather than entrepreneurship. But financially, they should be independent. So we have to help them financially. And we came to know about the business incubator proposal supported by the government of India. We should not only do n number of activities related to incubation, we should also support and promote other incubators both nationally and internationally. So after uh, getting the contact with the truck step, we started some micro enterprises for the women in the rural area to offer educational service to the downtrodden people. That, that is the reason behind the start of this college, Periyar Maniyamai College for Women. Now we have some incubators with us and uh, they are doing a business in a smaller scale. They are doing it at, at their home level. Basically, uh, she's from a native practitioner of herbal medicine. And he came here, he was complaining about some knee pain. We asked him to use the oil prepared by her. To our astonishment, uh, he gave a positive result that uh, this oil really uh, works well. This inspired the lady and uh, now she convinced that she can make a project out of it. And already uh, being a biochemistry professor, he knows the uh, standardization procedure and uh, she is from the chemical engineering side. She'll be helping her to go for batch production side. And being a microbiologist, she'll be taking care of the uh, health product aspects of this oil. But the problem is where to go about the funding. Uh, we may have to bring out the ICT platform uh, which will use herbal medicine. Uh, she is the sole innovator. Yes, sir. Uh, what we will do is uh, we have a uh, patent facilitation group. Yes, sir. So I think we can use the innovation fund number one for patenting it. Once your incubator facilities are ready and you are not in a physical place, we can also go in for batch production immediately and we will work with you and uh, your incubator for yes, very detailed discussion on the venture side. If the entrepreneur is taking a risk 
I think society should also, through incubators, through bankers, should also take a risk and support this initiative. I took up an EDP program in 1998-99 with Prextrip. IT market was booming like anything else. So we thought of uh, why not we start up with the training venture in joint partnership, which has been later defined as a public-private partnership. We implement what they provide as a platform. I see the technical components. They put in their entire business development concepts. And that initial year, we trained roughly around 650 to 700 people as such. I, I call uh, Mr. Jawar my boss still, still this day. Now we are training around 1,000 people. Hmm? This is the cost. This is the turnover, right? How 30 much? facilitators we have trained, sir. 30 so far, in three yeah. specializations. Three specializations. Computer science. Computer science. IT. IT. And any of the soft engineering side as such who have got an introduction of basic electronics. And they have been trained often in the newer softwares as well as some of the newer techniques. So in embedded systems, what is the kind of investment you are looking at? Um, roughly around uh, 8 to 10 lakhs. Sir. That's all? Yes. Sir. That is a very small market. Really. Okay, fine sir. But again, it is going to grow at a conservative rate of 10 to 15 percentage. See, that's yes, just sir. as a mission for development. You don't have a mission for development. Yes, sir. sir. Your duty is to commercialize it, make it more market oriented and earn money out of it. Yes, sir. With any graduate companies, we always maintain a good relationship. I would call them not only entrepreneurs, economic and social leaders. I love to dance with them. When he's very successful, I love to caution him. And when they face problems, the incubation manager has to provide them whatever support to make them successful again. With the technology platform being added to it, the business incubation will grow into leaps and bounds. Traditional banks and funding agencies are not in the business of promoting entrepreneurs. They want something on the ground. They are not ready to believe a dream of a person and fund it. It's an incubator's duty to believe on the dream of a young potential entrepreneurs and fund them at this stage. I feel Trexter in a few years, next few years, should be the temple of business incubation. We have people who have the brains, who have the ideas, but what is lacking is the capital. What is lacking is the infrastructure. If we promote entrepreneurship, then we promote small and medium enterprises. Then we have shift the balance into private economy and that help us to be more competitive. In future, the incubators will become a very clear center for public-private partnership. Where the entrepreneurs own the place, the entrepreneurs manage the place, the entrepreneurs promote the Unless you jump into the swimming pool, you cannot learn the art of swimming. Business is like that. For a government, the creation of jobs is really the target. We know that we can compete globally. Too much money has been spent in this environment with too little impact. You have to allow profit to be part of development. ICT is one of the most important ingredients that can be used to reduce poverty. And the government cannot definitely do it. In the end, most of the people here have all got the same objective, which is to develop, to develop themselves and to develop the country at the same time. It's a family that we're involved in, and I can see that given the right opportunities, given the right markets, these folks are going to go as far as anybody will let them, and I think technology is one way to tell that story.